Hello students. In today's video, we are going to study physiology of uh, renin angiotensin aldosterone system. In short, it is termed as RAS. Now, RAS plays a very important role in regulating long term blood pressure and the volume of blood. So, RAS regulates blood pressure and the blood volume. Now, angiotensin 2 is the key hormone of renin angiotensin aldosterone system. Now, fall in the blood pressure or the fall in the blood volume induces a rise in the secretion of angiotensin 2. Angiotensin 2 is a very potent vasoconstrictor. It constricts the blood vessels. Now, look at this figure. This is a normal blood vessel. This is the lumen of a normal blood vessel. Now, when this vessel is constricted by angiotensin 2, the lumen of the blood vessel re reduces and this is termed as the vasoconstriction. The diameter of the blood vessel reduces. The blood vessel constricts and vasoconstriction causes rise in the blood pressure. Now, angiotensin 2 also increases the volume of blood. Now, look at this diagram. This diagram explains the physiology of renin angiotensin aldosterone system and this explains how the system regulates blood volume and the blood pressure. Now, this is the figure of kidney. Now, as we all know, renal artery supplies blood to the kidney and afferent arterioles are the branches of renal artery. Now, walls of these arteries possess specialized smooth muscle cells uh, which are termed as juxtaglomerular cells. Now, in response to fall in the blood pressure or fall in the blood volume, these juxtaglomerular cells of the kidney release renin in the blood. This is a blood vessel. So, the renin is released by the kidney in the blood. Liver produces angiotensinogen. This angiotensinogen is also released in the blood. Now, renin breaks angiotensinogen to inactive decapeptide that is angiotensin 1. Angiotensin 1 is a decapeptide as it is made up of 10 amino acids. This is inactive and this circulates in the blood. Now, vascular endothelium of lungs, that is endothelium found in the blood vessels of the lungs, produce an enzyme called as angiotensin converting enzyme or ACE. Now, this angiotensin converting enzyme converts angiotensin 1, which is inactive, to angiotensin 2. Angiotensin 2 is a vasoactive octapeptide. Now, it is active, uh, it is vasoactive as it produces vasoconstriction and it is termed as octapeptide as it is made up of 8 amino acids. So, this angiotensin 2, it is a very potent vasoconstrictor. As explained earlier, it constricts the blood vessels, the lumen of the blood vessel becomes narrow and this vasoconstriction increases the blood pressure. Now, in addition to this, angiotensin 2 also stimulates adrenal cortex to increase the secretion of aldosterone. Now, aldosterone is a hormone that increases reabsorption of sodium and water in the distal con convoluted tubules of the kidney. Now, reabsorption of water increases the blood volume. Now, aldosterone also causes increased excretion of potassium. Now, increase in the blood volume increases the blood pressure. So, RAS is activated and angiotensin 2 is produced whenever the blood pressure or the blood volume falls below normal. Now, this angiotensin 2, it causes vasoconstriction and it also mediates release of aldosterone hor hormone and thereby this angiotensin 2 increases blood pressure and it also increases the blood volume. So, this system is called as renin angiotensin aldosterone system and this system regulates the blood pressure and the blood volume. Now, angiotensin 2 also stimulates posterior pituitary to increase the release of antidiuretic hormone. Now, as the name suggests, antidiuretic hormone or ADH inhibits diuresis. 
Now diuresis is excessive production of urine and therefore loss of body fluids by the kidney in the urine. Now antidiuretic hormone inhibits diuresis by increasing the reabsorption of water in the collecting duct of kidney. So increased reabsorption of water by the kidneys increases the blood volume and this further increases the blood pressure. Therefore, fall in the blood pressure or fall in the blood volume stimulates the renin angiotensin aldosterone system and stimulation of this system increases the blood volume and also increases the blood pressure. Now, after discussing physiology of uh, renin angiotensin aldosterone system, now let's discuss in brief how angiotensin 2 is metabolized. Now, angiotensin 2 has a very short half-life of one minute and the enzyme aminopeptidase first breaks or degrades angiotensin 2 to angiotensin 3, which is further degraded by the same enzyme that is aminopeptidase to angiotensin 4. Now, apart from this, angiotensin 3 and angiotensin 4 are also degraded by the en enzyme angiotensinase to inactive fragments. So, this is how angiotensin 2 is metabolized in the body. It is converted into inactive fragments. So, this is in brief on the physiology of renin angiotensin aldosterone system. So, fall in the blood volume or fall in the blood pressure stimulates renin angiotensin aldosterone system and stimulation of the system increases blood pressure and also increases the blood volume. But very important to understand here that overactive or abnormal activation of renin angiotensin aldosterone system increases blood pressure to an extent that it causes hypertension. So, RAS is a frequent target of antihypertensive drugs. Now, if you find the video useful, kindly like, subscribe and share this video. Thanks for watching this video.